Hello everyone. It's great to be here to celebrate Children's Environmental Health Day. When I think about the pressing environmental challenges we face, from climate change to lead and drinking water, I think first about our children. Children are more vulnerable to environmental pollutants than adults. These exposures can cause lifelong impacts during important periods of growth and development in a child's life. I have a seven-year-old son, and I think about his future every minute of the day. I think about the kind of life he will lead and about how our work at EPA can help make that life better for him and for all of our children. Protecting children's health is a top priority for the Biden-Harris administration. President Biden has proposed historic investments to electrify thousands of school buses across the country, which means cleaner, safer, and healthier air for our kids on their way to and from school. He's also called for replacing 100% of lead pipes that plague too many American communities and harm our children, especially our children of color and those from low-income households. By protecting children's environmental health, we're also protecting their current and future health and investing in a healthier nation. As administrator and as a parent, I want to thank you for your exemplary work to protect children's health and to the places our children live, learn, and play are safe from environmental hazard and harm. Our work continues, and I'll be alongside you every step of the way.